Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I have missed you guys so much. I know I filmed my last video and I said it won't be long until I'm back. Actually, how long has it been? I, it's still too long. <laughs> but yeah, I am sorry for not uploading. Life is just so busy at the moment. I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but like, yeah, I just feel so busy at the moment, but it's fine. Everything is good. It's like a nice busy. But I have a very exciting video for you guys today. So a little while ago, a company reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do like a little collab with them on my YouTube channel. And I love it when companies reach out to me. But as always, whenever a company reaches out to me, I have like a good scan of their website and make sure it's something which I would actually like to recommend to you guys. And alas, it was. Um, so I received a parcel from this very exciting company yesterday and I'm gonna show you guys all about it. So the company Snack Surprise actually reached out to me and this is so fun. I absolutely love stuff like this. Um, so basically Snack Surprise is a a monthly subscription box there's a few different tiers of like the levels of boxes you can get and the thing I love about snack surprises is that they're all super affordable um which I feel like is quite rare with this type of subscription box so as you can kind of tell by the name um <laughs> snack surprise is a snack subscription box but it's not just any old snacks every single month they choose a different company to send you snacks from and I think that is so fun because it means that every month you get to try like lots of different foods a lot of things that you would just never think to pick up before I think that these boxes would be great it's just like a little treat for yourself or you could maybe sign someone up for it as a gift or you could even just do like a one-off box but yeah I think it's such a good idea and I won't lie I've had a little sneak peek into this box and you get so much like for what you pay you honestly get so much which is really good um and obviously like quite often snacks from other countries are just so expensive like if you have ever been into those like american sweet shops like you would have to take out a mortgage to buy anything from there but fortunately it's very cheap um and such good value so i've got my little booklet here and i'm just going to run through the different tiers of the boxes you can get before we get into the contents of what i've got so bear with me i think these are all correct so first of all you have the mini box and the mini box you have six different items and then you have the original box so the original box is what i believe i've got here today so in the original box you get everything you get in the mini box but you also get four extra items plus a drink and I think the drink's really exciting because you never really see like drinks from other countries um so that's what's in the original box and then you have the premium box so the premium box has everything from the mini box everything from the original box plus you get an extra seven eight nine 10 and extra 10 items which is so so much so let's jump into the box i've got today so i had absolutely no idea what country i was gonna get on the website you can see a list of all of the previous countries so that can sort of like eliminate what you probably won't get if that makes sense um but the country that is for this month is denmark and that is so exciting because i have just never even thought about what snacks they might have in Denmark. Right, before we jump into that, I just wanted to talk about the packaging real quick. So I can't show you the top of the box because it's got my address on. Um, but this is the box that they come in, which is just so cool. I love this box. And obviously like when everything came, like nothing was damaged at all. Everything was absolutely fine. And it was also sent through Royal Mail pretty quickly as well. So you don't need to worry about like anything melting or anything like that. So when you open up the box, the first thing you get is this uh, little booklet and this is actually so cool i actually love this booklet so much so obviously you've got the name of the country on the front and then you go into some facts about denmark and i think this is so fun because like i feel like these boxes aren't just like snacks like without going like too deep into things i feel like it really tries to teach you a bit about the country and like there's so many fun things in this leaf like i don't want to spoil it for anyone but i'll quickly run through some bits so um, there's a big page with some facts about Denmark. Wait, I'll read out my favourite one. Give me a second, I'll read them and I'll find my favourite. Oh, I've got quite a few favourite ones. Denmark seems like 
such a nice country. Okay, so the first fact is that it's one of the happiest countries in the world. Another one of my favourite facts from this is that wind power accounts for 49% of total electricity generation in Denmark. I love that. And then another one that I love is Denmark appointed the world's first female prime minister. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, and then after the fun facts, we move on to this little page. So this tells you the contents of the box, which is so helpful because I've seen sometimes that when you get sort of like a snack box, you throw snacks in, but you don't really have any idea of like what it is and it's really helpful to have a description because obviously if it's from a different country the like labels on the front are not always in English so you might not have any idea of what you're eating but this is so cute so it tells you a big description of each thing and some things for example there's a few little things in here I'll show you this one right there. so like these little sweets here it says this one has its own game. After eating one, try to flatten the wrapper and peel the gold part without ripping it. If you fail, eat, and eat another and try again. And I think that's so cute because it's like throwing in like little fun things about all of the food. Um, and then if you can see here, there's like these three little like um, sweet wrappers and you can colour them in and say like, how much you like them if that makes sense okay and then this is something that i absolutely love about this so they're, they're not just throwing a load of snacks in a box for you like they really try and teach you about the country so here are some recipes from denmark which is so cute and then there's some more recipes here and then on the back uh this is so, oh this is so cute there's like a little viking journey um what are they called maze things that's cute that's the booklet and i know it just seems like a booklet but i just feel like that is such a nice touch okay so i'm gonna get into actually trying these things now we're gonna go savory first so there's a couple of bags of crisps in here and i love crisps i'm such like a savory girl so i'll show you what we've got so this first one is from a brand called kim's and they're american grill crisps so let's just have a quick look at the description so it says these are thinly cut bridged potato chips fried in sunflower oil they have a lightly smoked barbecue flavor with tomatoes and onions very interesting so i'm just going to try a little bit of everything and then anything i don't like i'll just give to dan and dan can have it <laughs> smells familiar this is a bit awkward because i don't really like eating on camera <laughs> that's what they look like <laughs> they taste like a crisp in england i think like kind of like smoky bacon crisps maybe but they're nice okay so the next thing we're going to try is also a bag of crisps also from the brand kim's so these are called snack chips and in the description it says these chips are a classic from 1987. Kim's snack crisps are rich with a delicious flavour and extraordinary crispiness. Let's see what they taste like. Keep packaging as well. Oh my god, these look fun. I really hope I like these. They look like uh, little pasta shells. These are going to be really crunchy. They're so good. They taste like a little bit sweet. They're cool. Mmm. I like those. They kind of give me very like paprika vibes. Thumbs up. I feel like I need some water. Okay, the next thing in the box I'm going to show you guys is a drink. But it's actually a fizzy drink and I can't drink fizzy drinks. Um, But this is called, oh my god, I'm going to absolutely butcher this. Fax Condi. Actually, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> um so this says it's a delishing delishing it's a delicious refreshing drink with a subtle lemon flavor it's pretty similar to seven up but better um this sounds so good but i can't drink fizzy drinks but i will maybe get dan to try this and i will let you know what dan thinks Okay, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. There actually is a lot of stuff, but let me show you. I know it looks pretty empty, but I've taken the crisps out, but there's like so much stuff in here. Okay, this looks fun, but I'm a bit scared that I'm not gonna like this. So how cute is this packaging? Flipper, it's called a flipper. So this is, it says, so it says Cloetta Flipper. Most Danes will remember the classic sweet and fruity marshmallow dolphin from childhood. I'm a bit scared to try this, mm, but kind of excited to open it. 
Oh! Mmm. Oh my god, that smells so good. Right. I'm not being greedy, but I am going to pull this whole thing out so you can see the dolphin. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's dusty. That is cute. Okay. Wow, this is cool. Oh my god, this is so fun. Okay, do we go for the tail or the nose? I'm going to go tail. <laughs> oh my god, that is really nice. I didn't think I'd like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to try is this. Uh, I thought this was a Kit Kat when I first saw it, but it is a Tom's Orange Stang. So it says... The orange stang is a perfectly crunchy milk chocolate bar with a burst of orange. Now, I don't really like orange chocolate, but I am really excited to try this because it looks like a Kit Kat. And I love, like, biscuity things as well. So that's the packaging. Looks cute. I hope this is nice because um, Dan absolutely loves orange chocolate. So I'm sure he'll like this. Okay, so these little bars are separate. So I'll just try one of those. That tastes exactly like a Terry chocolate orange. I thought it would be like biscuit in the middle, like like a Kit Kat or something. But no, it's just like ever so slightly crunchy. That is really good. Oh, actually, maybe I won't share that with Dan. That is really good. Okay, I'd give that one a definite thumbs up. Let's keep going. The next one, don't laugh at the name. <laughs> oh, God. So these are the next ones. Okay, don't know if you can see that. They are called Skunk Vin Gummy. Okay, and it's not just me because it addresses the name in the booklet. So it says, don't let the unusual name throw you off. Spunk Vin Gummy, a Danish fruit flavoured red, yellow, green and orange wine gums. Now, I absolutely love wine gums. This is a cute little packet. So hopefully I like these. Um, the packet's very small, but it's like cute. You get me? Can you see that? Oh my god, that's so small. That's so cute. Can you see that? Can you see? I don't want them to fall. <laughs> Let's try these. So they look like little... I'm not gonna lie, they look like little tadpoles or like little spermy type of things. Chewy. They're so good. Did you hear my jaw? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. That's no reflection on the sweet. My jaw does that all the time. Can I just say, so far, everything has been a big thumbs up. And I wasn't really expecting this because, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting it. Okay, this is potentially where it could go downhill or this could be really good. So this next bad boy is this. So this says it's a Anton Berg Mini Plum in Madeira. Ah, so I'm not sure if I like this or not. So it says, another iconic Danish sweet. It's a dark chocolate biscuit, like that, with plum. I like plum, but I've only ever had, like, the actual fruit. I've never had plum-flavoured things. And marzipan. Not too keen on marzipan. But it says, the mix of these flavours works perfectly together. So let's try it. These, it looks really cute, to be fair. Let's go ahead. Okay, it smells good. But it sort of smells like, do you know when you get like dark chocolate, like, like your chocolates? I'm going to get my fingerprints all over this. Okay, so it just looks like that. Pretty cute. Right. Why am I nervous? Why am I so nervous? Mm. Not for me. <laughs> it's not even that bad. The texture's a bit strange. And like, I absolutely love dark chocolate, but I think it's just the most kind of, I don't know why it's making me feel like this. Yeah, like honestly, on its own, the taste is absolutely fine. Like if you like dark chocolate, you'll like it because dark, the chocolate is like a stronger flavour than the marzipan. But it's just like a bit of a strange texture. <laughs> okay, we're going to give that one a thumbs down. Okay, I'm feeling a bit full. Oh, wow, there's still so much stuff in here. So this is like a chocolate bar and it's called a Yankee... Yankee Mandel. It says here, similar to a Three Musketeers bar, that's American, so I don't think I've had them before. The Yankee bar, I feel like I've heard of a Yankee bar before. Hmm, I don't know. The Yankee bar was first developed right after World War II to give the American soldiers a taste of chocolate from home. Okay, so I'm not really sure what's in this. Did you hear that? <laughs> that's like 
me eating so much sugar on like an empty stomach. I feel kind of bad like opening everything if I'm not going to finish it. But I'm sure damn well, so it'll be absolutely fine. Okay, I don't know if this has like knots in it. It's fine if it does, I haven't got an allergy. Oh, my stomach is really going. Oh, this looks cute. That would be a thumb, a, a fun thumbnail. Oh, I've got to from an idiot. Okay, right, here we go. It's okay, it's very sweet. I feel like it's got like caramel like a nugget in it nougat <laughs> and i feel like it might have nuts in but they're like very finely chopped like they're not crunchy so that's fine but it is very sweet not for me but absolutely fine we have these fun little things so they look like um how she's kisses can you see those and these are called tom's oh christ tom's gold caramel golden toffee they're cute little wrappers. I feel like these feel a bit festive. Oh, cute. They've got chocolate on them. That's what they look like. I think that's dark chocolate. Okay, let's try one of these. I hope it doesn't like break my jaw. Mmm, <laughs> they're good. So chewy. Okay, those toffees were so good, but they are really stuck in my teeth right now. So bear that in mind. Okay, so we have a couple of things left to try. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about both of these because I don't think I'll like them, but I'm gonna try them anyway. So this is the next item that we've got. So it's called a Carletti Scum Banan. <laughs> so it says a true Danish classic, and this is still an iconic sweet. That is interesting. This is a fluffy banana marshmallow covered in dark chocolate. Now I'm liking the marshmallow, I'm liking the chocolate, but I don't really like banana flavoured things. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Um, Dan likes banana flavoured things, but he doesn't like dark chocolate. So hopefully this doesn't just go to waste. Yeah, okay. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't think I will. Okay, I'm just gonna try a little bit. not that bad it's very intense it's actually not that bad okay i wouldn't say i hate that oh my teeth are starting to hurt from all the sugar okay so the next thing and the last thing i have to try are these so these are tom's penguin blanding oh it says a mixture of soft licorice sweets share with friends or keep to yourself we won't tell now, I sound so fussy here, but I'm honestly not a fussy eater, but I just don't really like licorice. I feel like not many people like licorice, but if you can see in there, there looks to be some which don't quite look like licorice. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'll maybe try one of those ones. So I'm going to try this. Okay. Mm, it still smells like licorice. That's so good. It tastes like summer fruit squash. So I think like there must be like licorice in there, like obviously the licorice looking ones and then just like normal sweets as well. So yeah, um, for the ones I tried, really good, but obviously I don't really like licorice so I wouldn't eat the whole bag. Okay guys, this is everything in the box. I feel like there's so much stuff here and like it's such good value for money. Like I'm not just saying this because they've sent me a box, but like there's so much in here. And I really like as well how much like research has gone into this box. I feel like the boxes where you get like American sweets are just a bit overdone because we know what sweets you get in America. And like, I feel like you tend to just get like the same similar ones in boxes. Whereas like when they do different countries every month, I think that's so fun. And like there's so much research that goes into all of it. So yeah, I just love it. Oh, I honestly love this so much. Like I love how there's like little traditions and like little recipes and stuff in this booklet. Of course, I will leave all of Snack Surprises socials in the description box down below. And their website as well. And then you can check out all of the different boxes they have, all of the previous countries they've done. You can see what other things are had in boxes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe down below. Um, and fingers crossed if I am organised, I will see you again soon with another video. Love you. Bye.